A very good morning children. It's such a joy for me to connect with each one of you this Sunday morning. And have you realized we are already in November? Wow, 10 mon months have just passed by. But even through all this COVID-19 and the floods in Hyderabad and with many situations that we have gone through, God is still in control. And God's faithfulness is indeed new every morning. Right, children? And before we move into our lesson, let's pray. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you for this time that you've given us, Master. Thank you for the Sunday morning that we can connect once again virtually through Sunday school. Thank you for every child that is watching. God, I pray that you speak to each of our hearts this morning. Help us to learn and practice whatever we learn today. And even before we move into our lesson time, I pray, Holy Spirit, God, you take control and may you be glorified. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. So children, if you remember, we've been learning a lot of faith stories, right? Not just that, the miracles that Jesus has been doing and uh, that we've learned in our previous Sunday school lessons and uh, the healings so many stories that has encouraged us that has uh, you know helped us to put our faith in Jesus stronger and get stronger every day wow it's such an assurance you know that we have a Lord the Jesus Christ we can look to for everything right children and we are if we can remember we had learned a faith story about a royal official a royal official who had a need well, we all know he was frantically looking for Jesus because he was desperate. He wanted his son to be healed. And you know, and we know that he had approached Jesus with boldness. He wanted Jesus to come with him to his hometown in Capernaum. And what did Jesus do? Did he say, okay, let's go. I, I will come and heal your son. Jesus wanted to, you know, uh, show this official uh, something new that day. And he wanted the official to exercise his faith. And Jesus told the official, go home and your son will be well. Well, did the official follow the instruction of Jesus? Did he obey what Jesus had told him? Of course he did. And indeed, when the official went home, his son was well. What a great assurance. And what a faith story that we had learned about the royal official and how he put his faith in Jesus that day. And not just the royal official, but his complete household believed in Jesus that day. You know, we have, we learn a lot about different people, how people, you know, experience miracles in their lives. And in our own very lives, we experience so many countless blessings and miracles, you know, children. And you know, before we go on and move on to our lesson, I would also like to share about uh, my father, you know, who he was uh, very sick at one point in 2014. He was uh, diagnosed with a terminal illness and after that for two years he went through treatment, he suffered, he had gone through a lot of physical pain, you know, while taking the treatment. But one thing that I had always observed in my father was he put his faith in Jesus. He stayed positive. He was always positive through it all you know he said you know God's will whatever God wills in my life I am ready you know I am ready because I know that my father has already my heavenly father has already prepared a place for me in heaven and my my father even though he didn't live on uh, after two years of being diagnosed with the illness he went to he passed passed away and he went to be in God's presence you know children even though we miss his presence every day we have an assurance that we will meet my father one day because both my father and me and you know the rest of our family believe in this Jesus right and we all know that Jesus has gone to prepare a place for each one of us in heaven so that we will live forever even though we will you know so at some point experience physical death but spiritually our our lives our heart our soul will live forever eternally when we believe jesus as our personal savior and lord and 
you know let's see what story we have this morning you know i want to share the story of lazarus well you might think ma'am we know the story of lazarus you know about how jesus you know worked in lazarus life but i want to bring the story to you once again this morning you know our children lazarus was a close friend of jesus and not just lazarus but his sisters mary and martha they were very close they adored jesus they loved to fellowship with jesus at all times you know every time they wanted they got a chance they would like to spend they always used to like to spend time with jesus and we all know children that lazarus was very sick at one point right and at that time when lazarus was sick and was experiences the sick was experiences the sickness of both his sisters mary and martha were looking for jesus because they knew that they jesus had the power to heal anybody of any sickness and as we all know you know in john uh, chapter 11 verse 4 it says the lazarus sickness will not end in death but it is for god's glory but if we read further in the same chapter we know that lazarus did die you know what children jesus already knows the complete picture he knew much ahead in time that lazarus would be sick right and mary and martha would look for him so that jesus can go to them and heal them god knows the bigger picture even before we realize in children you know god has a special purpose for every situation everything that we go through in our lives you know to and what did what happened when jesus heard the story uh, when when jesus heard that that lazarus was sick you know uh, there was a very strong purpose for jesus you know to delay his going to bethany children may i ask you what is the greatest purpose of every every miracle you know every miracle that you and i go through there is a higher purpose you know that miracle brings glory to god and you know what children when we experience miracles we ask first of all when we go through something we ask the lord in prayer we go to him with faith we go to him with confidence and boldness that our god will heal or will bring us out of that problem and when uh, we go uh, to god in prayer and when we put a request to god in prayer you know miracles happen we have many times experienced miracles in our lives right children maybe in your school maybe during your exams time maybe when you have been sick and you had to you know uh, participate in a competition we, you know i'm sure children you have put your faith in jesus and jesus has never failed you in all these situations the same way when we experience miracles you know it's so good to testify about what happened how god intervened and worked in our lives it is so good it is important children that when we experience miracles we testify about god's goodness and when we testify about god's goodness god is glorified and this is the very reason that you know jesus going to bethany was delayed you know four days it was delayed and before going to bethany you know jesus has had spoken to his disciples and he told them you know what i need to go to bethany because lazarus is asleep and the, the disciples as you know they are always hovering over jesus they knew every move that jesus would make and you know they witnessed so many miracles and very innocently they just believed oh jesus wants to go and wake up lazarus but then jesus explained to the disciples that you know what you're going to see now in bethany will astonish you and you will be amazed and it will definitely increase your faith and all along the disciples went with jesus to bethany and you know what children when jesus went to bethany uh, it was mary who ran mary and martha who ran towards him and uh, martha goes to meet him and he says uh, she says from it says from john 11 21 and 22 lord if only you had been here my brother would not have died but even now i know that god will give you whatever you ask wow but instead 
Jesus told Martha, Lazarus would rise again. Martha said, Yes, of course, Jesus, I believe you. But that Lazarus will definitely, you know, rise again. But that will be, uh, you know, during the second coming when everyone, you know, the resurrection day, when everyone, the second coming, when everyone will rise. It will happen. I know that Jesus is what Martha said. But Jesus said in chapter in chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 well I am the resurrection and the life anyone who believes in me will live even after dying everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never die do you believe this Martha is what Jesus asked you know resurrection means power over death just like Jesus resurrected he conquered death you know three days after Good Friday, we all know the Easter story. Jesus indeed conquered death. You know, children, we all, you know, we have probably lost a few loved ones, our families or friends or people who we know, uh, you know, over a period of time we have lost. But when the Lord returns, when His coming, we do not know when the Lord is coming back again. But all those who have passed away, who have believed in Jesus and who have passed away much ahead of us, you know, wherever they have been buried, their bodies will be lifted up first into new life. And not just that, the ones who are still on earth, like probably maybe you and I, if Jesus comes back tomorrow, we do not know the date or the time or the hour. And if we have believed in that Jesus, we will be caught up in the mid-air with Jesus. Wow! We don't have to face physical death just in case Jesus comes back much ahead of you know we passing away into his uh, into his uh, uh, kingdom right into heaven we do not know so children i just want to encourage you if we you and i have not accepted this jesus and we want to be rest assured that we will live eternally we may at some point face physical death that is just such a temporary thing you know we will face physical death we will we'll probably be afraid of facing physical death the Lord is more concerned about our spiritual lives. Where are we leading our soul? Have we asked the Lord to come into our lives to be our Lord and Savior? You know, as we move on, as we go on to uh, see what the story of Lazarus tells us, you know, Martha said, Martha went ahead and said, Oh Lord, she fell at his feet and she said, Jesus, only if you were here, my brother indeed would have been well. And she wept at the feet of Jesus. And not just Martha, Jesus wept as well. You know, we think that Jesus is probably just looking and, and he doesn't feel the pain. But Jesus weeps along with us whenever, you know, we face a tough situation, whenever we probably lose someone very dear to us. Jesus also weeps with us. And that's what Jesus did. He wept with Martha. He was also pained. He felt all the same emotions, the feelings that Martha faced when, you know, they knew that their brother had died. But Jesus made a request to Martha and Mary. He said, may I know where Lazarus has been laid? And you know, they, they took him, they showed him the tomb where Lazarus was laid after his death. And Jesus said, May I request that the stone be rolled away from the tomb where he was laid? And they were like, Jesus, it's been four days that Lazarus has passed away. And there will be bad odor. Definitely nobody would open anything right. But Jesus said, would you put your faith in me? And would you just obey and do as I request you to do? And they immediately, without a doubt in their hearts, they rolled the stone away from the tomb where Lazarus was laid. And Jesus looked up to heaven. He prayed and then he said, Lazarus, come forth. Very simply it meant, Lazarus, come out of the tomb where you have been laid. And what do we see the next moment? Indeed, the same Lazarus who was laid uh, in the tomb, he walks out of that tomb. The same Lazarus who was, uh, uh, you know, he, he had strips of linen across his complete body. He walked out of that tomb and 
what a joy it was for Mary and Martha to see their brother come alive at just one word. It was Jesus who called Lazarus forth, but it was the faith of Mary and Martha, you know, that, you know, they believed that Jesus has the power over death. And Jesus indeed gave life to Lazarus. Wow. You know, children, we have heard the story of Lazarus. We have, we have heard that Jesus indeed healed Lazarus and gave life. We want to, you know, if you and I have not accepted this Jesus as our personal Savior and Lord, and if you want to experience eternal life in heaven with Jesus, would you believe with me and would you ask this Jesus to come into your life this Sunday morning? You know, it will be such a great joy for Jesus, for, for, for everybody, for the angels. So the angels rejoice when a soul is saved. And if you if you're willing and if you are led by and if you are led by the Holy Spirit, would you give your heart to Jesus this morning? And if you are willing to do that, would you say this prayer with me? Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for the life of Lazarus. Thank you that you have conquered death and you have given life to Lazarus. And thank you, Lord, that so many people witnessed and they were amazed and they knew that you are the son of God who has power over death. We want to thank you, Lord. And I thank you for every child who's watching, Lord. And every child who has, who has been convicted by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, Lord, this morning. God, I pray that we admit that we have sinned and we fall short of your glory, oh God. We believe that you have died for us and we confess, Lord. And we need your forgiveness this Sunday morning, O oh Lord. We thank you for salvation. We thank you that you are the, the one who gives us life, eternal master. We want to thank you for every child who's made that decision this morning. I pray, Lord God. I pray a blessing over every child that, that they would reach out to you in every situation, Lord. They will exercise their faith. They will put their faith in you forever and ever, Master. I pray a blessing over their families, their studies, their, 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 their things, the whatever, uh, you know, challenges they face in this age, Lord. I just commit every child into your care. We thank you for this assurance of salvation that we can live with you forever. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. So children, I, I, I do hope that you were blessed with the story of Lazarus. And uh, if I might just say, the memory verse for today is from John 11, verse 25 and 26, which says, I am the resurrection and life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. So children, be encouraged. And I pray that you walk closely with God and pray every day and read your Bible. And may I challenge you to also pray for some of your friends or families or near and dear ones, you know, who, have, who do not know Jesus. Maybe, you know, sometimes when you pray for others, Lord will listen to your prayers and they will give their hearts to Jesus. And that's what our purpose should be in our lives. And every, you know, the purpose of every miracle is to glorify God. And uh, even before we close, I encourage you to download the activity sheet and uh, do it whenever you have the time. So until we see each other again, uh, stay safe and God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday. Bye-bye.